much for coming back to my YouTube channel to watch another one of my videos. Before I jump in, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press that bell so you can stay updated with the new um, content that I have coming out. Also, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. I'm hoping that you do. And also, don't forget to comment below um, if there's any questions that you do have or if there's any questions that you would like me to cover, feel free to comment below as well. As promised, I told you guys that I am going to start vlogging. Unfortunately, I know I haven't kept up to my word. I really, really wanted to give a vlog every month. Well, now kind of assessing the tutorials that I have to do, editing, working and everything like that, it's really, really difficult to kind of vlog every single month. So I'm basically kind of grouping a few months together and just basically showing you guys what I've been up to. I genuinely don't know how a lot of YouTubers are doing this, but trust me, you know, it is their lives. So at the moment, it's not yet my life. So I have to share it between a lot of other things as well. So please do bear with me in terms of that. So I'm hoping that you do enjoy this vlog, which is gonna be August up until um, October. And yeah, stay tuned and enjoy. So first it was my brother's birthday. I have three other siblings. I have two sisters and one brother, two sisters that you would have seen on my birthday in my previous vlog. And my brother, he would obviously be new, You've never seen him before, his name's Jeremy. And um, it was his birthday, so we, were, we went away as a family and celebrated his birthday. So we just finished eating for my um, brother's birthday meal. And we're heading back to the hotel now to have a drink. There's a surprise he doesn't know. Yeah. Happy I absolutely love my brother. He is literally like a fellow Leo. Plus he's my only brother. It's really nice because I am a big family orientated person. It's really nice for me to spend time with family and we try to do that as many times as possible. So next um, I'm with my partner in crime, Matt Sitek and we shot with a makeup artist, um, Natalie. We were also testing in terms of doing some photo shoots for an agency. So we literally whipped together this quick test, autumn based, just to show this agency what skills we have. higher so obviously if you're following me on social media you know that I wear a lot of kiss products well I was lucky enough um, to be part of one of their other campaigns um, it was just like a really nice sort of thank you gift I basically videoed me opening it up and yeah this is what I got Ooh. These Kiss Gel Fantasy Nails are Instagram worthy, so we thought this knuckle duster clutch bag and necklace would complete the picture. Ooh. Oh my god, I feel so lucky. Oh, statement nails, and oh my god, look at that nude. Honestly, how cute is this bag? Oh my gosh. Yes, for the bling. Ooh, what's in here? So next it was my sister's birthday. So my brother's is early August and my sister Cara, 
her birthday is in early September. This is not juice. This is not juice, honey. What is it? Rum punch. So the rum punch is done, and over here we are making some mojitos. So Sam, this is my sister Bestie, she's making some mojitos. Not even grams, they do it much now. Be nice. Okay. Really nice. The chocolate is melting. Make yeah. a wish. The chocolate's melting. Come on, my Snapchat, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, get ready to press that button. Yeah, I'm gonna see your right now. Yeah. Oh God, no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. No, you can. Yes, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> And then the next day after my sister's birthday, we finished some cake, danced to some music, and basically just had some nice quality family time. So next was a big moment for all of us. I spent possibly Hours and hours watching reviews for Fenty. Just before Fashion Week, I was able to go in, quickly grab some bits and pieces. So what I managed to get was Trophy Wife. I also got the Matchstick Trio, which includes suede, espresso, and cinnamon. Apart from the obvious stuff, this is something definitely to actually invest in. I actually got 460. Now, when I was in the store, and as you can see here, when I tried it on, it looked really good. But when I went outside, it was really quite red, and it just wasn't for me. So this is why I haven't really done any kind of post focused on it. So I am hoping again, my next payday, to manage to get another one for myself basically. This gloss bomb is just everything. I think this out of everything, I will stock up on the most. This is the best gloss I've ever, ever had. This has really, really made me fall in love with gloss all over again. It is just everything. I was really, really lucky actually um, to also be sent two products um, from Fenty's PR. So what I got was the Killer What, what I got was the Killer What um, Freestyling Highlighter Duo. It's Girl Next Door and um, Cheek Freak. And I also got the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer, which is really good as well. I know I change up my hair all the time, but I literally went to Josh Hair and Beauty. You know the long black wig that I had? I just literally done a little bit of a balayage in it. I asked for like a nice, cute, edgy cut and they they done me good they done me so good i'm definitely going to be working with them a lot more in terms of my hair because you guys know i love to experiment with my hair so yeah definitely check them out go ahead Hopefully in the future I can even like provide some discount codes for you guys to um, get your hair done there. So stay tuned. And then it was fashion week. What I want to show for you here is highlights from some of my favourite shows.
guys, it is day two of London Fashion Week. and that is a wrap that is fashion week over for me um, I'm literally calling it a day because there's so much work that has to be done but it's nice to end fashion week on Zainab Cartel whose collection was absolutely amazing so I'm hoping that you've enjoyed the days that I've been here the few days anyways so Trendy Hub is another fashion label who invited me to their press launch
enough to get a little goodie bag even the top that I'm wearing right now it's actually from them how cute is this I love the sleeves September finished off really really nice for me you know my friend Chanel Ambrose she's a blogger as well check out her channel and she literally invited me to her baby shower it was really really hard keeping that she was pregnant a secret as well as the sex which she told me accidentally and that was really really tough but sharing that moment with her was really really special if you if you know Chanel's story you know it literally it brings tears to my eyes because I'm so happy for her I just, you know, you want all of your friends, You, I want them to win at the end of the day and she is winning and I'm just so happy that she's honestly getting the desires of her heart. So congratulations again, Chanel. And I'm so happy, I can't wait to see your baby boy. So yeah, woo! Hey. Wow, the table looks sick. October for me has been a really big transition. How to put it in the most professional way possible. As you know, I was working with Samantha Harvey for over a year. I done so many jobs. I invested a lot of myself into working with her and she signed now successfully, which was the goal and unfortunately her label want to go with an in-house stylist talking with other stylists this isn't a new thing and i really really do look forward to you know bringing this topic to you guys just so that you are safeguarded in in everything that you were doing you know these things happen but it was really 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 hard on me it's not been easy at all it has not been easy and it's like to get to this place where i feel like a transition needs to happen everything just went dead quiet i admit to you guys there's so many uh, obstacles that i've kind of had with myself and limitations that i'm putting on myself because I just want to be able to help you guys as much as possible and doing that it means that every time I have an idea I keep reworking it and reworking it and reworking it. I talk about it a lot in you know building your portfolio. My vision has shifted quite a lot but you know I just feel that I need to be okay with where my life is shifting just as long as my purpose and my focus and my end goal it just stays there i'm hopefully going to be focusing on teaching more styling um i'm still taking on clients and stuff like that but now is a really big period in my life where i'm focusing more on that groundwork 
and also opening up myself to this influencer world because I am now obviously putting my face out there. Before when I was working, people didn't see my face at all. It's literally the YouTube which kind of helped people to see my face. So yeah, this is quite new for me and I'm just really hoping that you guys can continue supporting me into what I hope is my final calling and yeah, my and my purpose. Because of things like that, I'm not gonna stop styling, do you know what I mean? But I have to be so transparent with you. Being let down like that, when you really do invest in someone and you do a lot of free work and stuff like that for them and to kind of be dropped, it is a huge, huge letdown and a setback and I'm human and you know, I have emotions and I had to really allow myself to just kind of feel the way that I felt and really and truly just use that moment to kind of propel me to lift others and that is my purpose. I'm all about all of us being able to win. I'm all about um, lifting others and hopefully opening doors for other people and encouraging them to open doors for themselves. So ASOS has started a new campaign, hashtagging ASOS supports talent. So this event, it was really nice. It was in, it was kind of like a mashup of like drinks, music, as well as like an exhibition for designers, photographers, and all that. Afterwards, we also went to my cousin's leaving party. She's going to Dubai and she's got a new job, so congratulations, Tanika. So glorious, glorious press days. Love this. That's another Milan Breton piece. Look at the train of this. Literally to this dress. It's absolutely insane. Oh, shit. This Sorry. is Portia, by the way, Hi. the goddess of all. If you are interested in attending press days, I've also done a video on this, or even if you are a blogger or an influencer, um, you know, it's really, really great for you to go to events like this. So don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with my new content. Just keep me in your prayers. Just send me love, send me light and positive vibes because I really, 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 really need it right now. Thank you so much for coming again. I'll see you again soon. Bye.